Yeah, well, we love the funny. internet because that's how you see the smoke for me, the podcast, bitch. Yo, video me. Um, are we? Is it? Is it? It's about that time. I ain't even with my watch. It's all it, right. I told you. Oh, you did, didn't you? Tell them what time it is. What time is it? It's time, ladies and gentlemen, for a segment of the show that we call Reddit on Reddit. And the reason that we refer to it as Reddit on Reddit from Reddit, and then we relay those things to it. And then we help the person who originally wrote the thing on Reddit, because we, the smokers, us too. Oh, something, bitch. are the best advice givers to ever yeah. give advice in the history of advice giving. In the history. Like, before the Anunnaki and the Emerald Tablets, we were already created in the stars as the best advice givers. Okay. And one day we manifested into the creations of wonderfully splendid human beings you see before you right now. And go. now we are here to do the job that we were so long ago created to do. Imagine how many people throughout time did not get the benefit. Yeah. Or what the fuck you get the benefit of right now. So many people. Einstein could have been so much fucking better. He could have been so much better. If we would have been like, yeah, nigga, no, like, yeah. Van Gogh, like, don't Probably cut your ear off, don't. bro. Yeah. yeah like, it's a couple people we could have saved I'm with the saying, advice that we provide. And a nigga could have right. told Martin Luther King, like, look, bro, you Balcony. doing your fucking thing out here. Yeah. But this one right here, yeah, don't fuck with it. Don't fuck with this one. Let's Somebody. just go get some bitches and some ice cream. And we got them spin the block and, and fuck with the next one. <laughs> no. <laughs> Bitches and ice cream. Shit. <laughs> fuck with the next hey. one. I'm just saying. Yep. <coughs> you get the benefit of this shit, though. You go get some bitches and ice cream. <laughs> you going first? <laughs> I, I go first. Shit. <laughs> so. Reddit on Reddit. Number one. Number one. So, I went and got some bitches and ice cream the other day. <laughs> no, that ain't, that ain't what to say. That ain't what to say. Um, is this the one I picked? Fuck it. Thoughts on dating while living together but separated. Mm. <laughs> Oh, Watch so thoughts on some stupid shit? Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah that, that. I feel like we didn't even got to read what he was talking about. Oh, well, Maybe they got the upside down pineapples. Maybe they got the upside down pineapples. Guys. They got to have the upside <laughs> down <laughs> pineapples. Hey. They separate. Might be a party over there. You, you know, know somebody in this situation. If you separated, somebody going to push the limits of like what the fuck we could do. A motherfucker bringing somebody home. No. You think so? I mean, unless they stand mature enough to sit down and set some boundaries when they first decide to do this shit. Does it matter if the other person's home when they bring them? I mean, I guess mm-hmm. it matters more, <laughs> but it still don't matter. Like, God damn it. Oh, it still don't matter? No, if any situation I could imagine doing some dumb shit like this, yeah, you can't bring no nigga in my house, God damn it. In all, period. Never, God damn it. <laughs> Not it, what is shit. y'all's house? Yeah, even our house. Yeah, no, you can't bring no nigga in this motherfucker. Okay. Oh, man, you come in here. It's a, a nigga been on the Pro Tools. He got a new verse man. on your computer. Shit has moved around. <laughs> what you mean, a nigga? With? He, he saved, used my last he, shell. He saved what it you? on your shit. <laughs> man, all right, I ain't no more shells. Nigga drunk your last two beers. <laughs> no, nah, we said it was cool if goddamn. Man. All right, where the nigga live? Right. <laughs> Yeah, no, but fuck that. It's dumb anyway. You break up with a motherfucker, you leave. God yeah. damn it. Yeah. Let's see. My wife and I are living together but separated due to neither one of us being able to afford moving out. We have two kids and a co-parenting. On top of the normal pain of divorce, I'm longing for some connection with someone who may actually appreciate me. I'm actually, well, no. I initially thought that the right thing, right thing to do, the right thing, the to, right do thing to do, would be to wait until we are completely divorced to date anybody again. But it gets harder every day to push these feelings down. Has anyone felt like this? And what do you do to overcome it? I'm sorry, um, Reddit on Reddit viewers and listeners. I put, 
I picked the bullshit Reddit on Reddit. I did that. I accept <laughs> responsibility for that because all this shit he said didn't matter like at all or none of that. Fuck trying to date somebody while you there and all this shit. Like you can afford a bullshit apartment maybe or maybe a hotel. Anything is better. Like get your roommate, goddamn it. You can't break up with a bitch with your wife divorced. You can't just stay there no more. It sounds like he just need to get some pussy. Like he just I mean, he, he do quick. he do need to get some pussy, and I think you can buy that. There's you can buy where you it. Can just go but online. He can't even afford phone. rent though. <laughs> <laughs> he can't afford different rent. Yeah. They might be That's splitting like two thousand right now on the rent or something. I'm just saying. So he though. could get like some forty dollar pussy. Then he need to go get a, a, a goddamn nine hundred dollar apartment. You might not want to take the forty dollar pussy to your apartment anyway. Hey, the the nine hundred dollar apartment and the forty dollar pussy gonna be close anyway. <laughs> I'm just saying, if this what you trying to do, there's an area you can do this shit in. I'm just right saying, right down the street, right around the corner, Man, okay. just right around the corner, forty dollars. I'm just saying. So if that's the route you trying to go, or you just oh, need yeah. some pussy shit, you could hey. get you a little spot right there where the I'm pussy be cheap at. Guy good damn. advice. Shit. Good advice. I'm just saying. It's gonna get you all the you can get out of the situation you're in until your divorce is finalized. You can. Uh, quench the loneliness you've been feeling, she even though you don't really want another relationship. I don't want that bitch. Um, and you can still co-parent. You didn't sound like there were any problems with that. Yeah, no, nah, you ain't mentioned that shit at all. He said we doing it, so yeah, you good. You just want it, goddamn. I'm guiding them. Shit, all right. Go get that. Hey, that's the best advice you gonna get from anybody. That's For gonna real, give you some advice, goddamn. For real. But um, dating. Why you living with a bitch? I don't see how that's gonna work anyway. I <laughs> very no. No, that's weird. I, I don't see how like you can't bring the bitch home. The bitch gonna call you like if you you out on a date and ain't no milk. The bitch gonna call you for you to bring some milk, goddamn And your date gonna want to know like, oh yeah, no, yeah, no, my wife. No, wants no. To bring when you some when you home. at this point, you not fucking with each other. Y'all don't talk about shit. You oh, they don't even fuck with each other. Look, at this point, she taking the trash out herself. I figured they they was like still cordial around nah, this bitch, God nah, damn it. No, they not oh. fucking with each other. I see that they ain't what I got. Out. I just okay, maybe so, maybe so. Cause they, they did say we only all. together because we can't afford to move out, yeah. God damn. <laughs> like literally. I guess so. Here. And maybe they obviously they can't afford the divorce yet either. Damn, but we ain't fucking damn. with each other. You stay over there. See, I'm I, I, stay over I here. had the idea we'll situation the to out. buy it. Like nah, it's I'm peachy in this motherfucker. I'm saying I'm telling you a nice one still. Man, okay. Shit. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, you know how these folks be acting behind closed doors. You're right, boy. though. You're right. I you feel like y'all crazy. sit down and come to a motherfucking understanding. This shit can, can be kind of smooth. You would think. You, you can would, be kind of smooth. You like, would look, think you could, we ain't got to hate each other in this motherfucker. This right. shit didn't work out. We here together. Like, let's be roommates, friends. Shit. Uh-huh. uh-uh. <laughs> No, no, no. Red, okay. No, whatever. We can be free. Red, okay. All right, yeah, that ain't gonna that ain't gonna work. That ain't gonna work at all. That ain't gonna work at all. And anything he do, she mad about. Yeah. You need to get know. on about it there. He know. Get on about it there. Yeah. And li- move to round the corner from the forty. Right. Don't and live you, on the same street with yeah. the forty. Yeah, like like two streets over, maybe. Cause you don't want the forty knocking on your door. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> Cheap pussy knocking. Well, well you got to go get the forty. If the forty knock on your door, you fucked up. I That's what I was saying. You might not want the forty to come to where you at. I feel she like the forty got to know not to come back over here. Bitch, you the forty, goddamn. <laughs> Sometimes they be at the middle of the night. No. They, think, they might think you a new sucker. You new on the block. They gonna try you once or twice. Get you a dog too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take the dog. Man, what? Take the dog. I know y'all got a dog with your two kids. Train that bitch to bark at people. They not get the dog. <laughs> Train them to bark at the smell. Man, okay. <laughs> you smell that? That's the forty. That's the forty right there. You smell it? You get it. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, all right. <laughs> You're going to prison. <laughs> Man, and this dog keep attacking hookers. <laughs> bites him in the pussy every time. <laughs> like, what kind of dog is that? Good for it. Good for it. <laughs> Don't do that. Don't do that. I'm uh, sorry. Man. That was bad advice. Oh, uh, it was. 
violence. That's domestic violence. And I think. Don't stop, stop domestic, domestic violence. violence. <laughs> stop it. This shit is for entertainment purposes. Don't do Solid. it. Please don't do it. Man, all right. Bill, you need to move out. Somebody needs to move out. It's, yeah. it's, it's fucked up. It's hard to do. Like, yeah, it's like you used to paying bills for two people, God damn it. But, I mean, it's it's doable, though, shit. At least you try, but shit. I don't know. I, would, I wouldn't tell you to rush nowhere. I mean, nah, it but, ain't no rush, but, but this shit's not working. But hell. you can't just bring the 40 to y'all's house. Man, okay. See, that's what you're asking. No, 40, you can't this do is that. my wife. Wife, yeah. this is 40. <laughs> don't mind the smell. <laughs> <laughs> don't do that shit. Don't do that shit. <laughs> that ain't gonna work out well. Before they gonna get stabbed, goddamn it. <laughs> don't do that shit. Oh shit. Oh man. All right. Um how we just name the bitch the 40? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we try to keep on his budget. I like it though. I like yeah, it. Yeah, that's dude. what you call your hoes now. <laughs> what a forty says. <laughs> I run so many forty so far. Man, I'm trying to see what the forty is. Man, man. Okay. Ain't no four. What if at? What club they be man, at? Okay. Shit. <laughs> He's gonna be mad to say it. No, oh, no, honey, so who you here. calling up for? Bitch, he the call us up for it. Oh man! All right, Reddit on Reddit number two. Number two. I ain't made like we ain't meant to do that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm saying. Um, the title is. My fiance's female best friend, the fiance's a man. My fiance's female best friend called him to the birthday party. Oh, I think invited him to a birthday party and I'm left out. How would you talk to him about it? Well, she mad that her fiance got a girl best friend. And she invited the fiance to a birthday party. Yeah. And she's not going. Right. She's left out. See, first off, I don't understand how, like, if you left out, that's your choice. Because if y'all a couple and somebody get an invitation somewhere, like, that mean we going. That don't mean baby. you both invited. We, we fucking going. <laughs> that don't mean you invited. If she get an invitation somewhere that I want to go, <laughs> we is motherfucking invited. Y'all could, y'all could both show up, but you ain't part of this festivities. You Absolutely. go sit at the bar or something. I'm sitting with this bitch. Nah. <laughs> nah. Nah. No. Absolutely. Absolutely, but <laughs> at the same time, that's probably not what this is. She's just jealous because she can't go and there's another girl going, goddamn. That's, that's probably what this is. Yeah, it sounds it sound like she's just jealous of the, yeah, the, the girl, girl best, best friend. friend shit. And she don't trust her fiancé. That's what it sounds like. Which, that's that's a problem. You might want to unfiancé that fiancé if that's how you feel yeah, about I your fiancé. That's all I'm going to say. Um, hi, my fiancé and I have been together for 10 years and got engaged this year. I know his friend for 10, I've known his friend for 10 years, and this is not the first time this happened. It bothered me before also, but somehow I didn't pay attention since we were in a relationship and not engaged. So I always just thought that maybe it's not a big deal. I must also say that she knows that we're engaged, and when we told her, she acted like, okay, you got a ring, what else changed? No. Which also hit me a bit. Bitch, it's been 10 years though, bitch. I tried to talk to my fiance. But he always keeps saying that I'm exaggerating and that I'm making a big deal out of nothing. But I feel anxious anytime he tells me something like that. And he also says the friend goes uh, alone without anyone as like a date or anything at the birthday party. So they going to be together. I guess I'm not sure if she's joking or not, but... uh, the last sentence says, I, I didn't say that they're all women except him, but it got a winky face with it. So I don't really know what she mean by that. You mean it's all bitches except him? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I think so. And she the only one that can't go. He's having a bachelor party. Oh, she upset about that. He's uh, going to be around a whole bunch of bitches? It's, no, fiance, fiance. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh shit! Oh shit! Yeah, no, she out of my day. Yeah, she's upset. But it, I mean, like I said, I, but I'm a, I'm different. Like I understand, I'm not invited if I don't get the invitation. But I don't give a fuck about that, goddamn. Mm. If you want to keep it like politically correct, then I mean, yeah. But you know, this been his best friend for ten years. I feel like that ain't. If you ain't been worried about this shit, that ain't really shit you well, got to worry about. She said it bothered her before. I don't it's think she's ever been comfortable with it. And probably, he just yeah. was always like, you tripping, don't worry about this shit. Probably and so. And he go get some head. <laughs> 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 Bitch tripping to get head. No, she don't like you. She don't like you. <laughs> Man, okay. No, nothing, nothing. Let's keep going. Let's <laughs> keep going. <laughs> Why you ain't like me? <laughs> Man, okay. Oh, that's shit. That's fucked up. That's fucked up. <laughs> that's fucked up. So she wants to know how she should talk to him about it. What should she do, guys? I feel like it ain't, it's just me. What should she do, guys? I don't, they <laughs> can say in the comments what they think she should oh, do. Oh, okay. Um, I feel like, I don't, it's kind of, it, you should have had this talk with this motherfucker. <laughs> Nine and a half years ago, maybe, goddamn it. <laughs> no, I'm just saying. If she jealous of the best friend now, she's been jealous of the best friend. She known the best yeah. friend for 10 years, as long as she done known him. Which yeah. means they've been best friends for longer than he done known her, goddamn it. At least. At, at least. Unless you met both of them at the same time. I'm going to like this one. I'm going to be he... friends with this oh. one. <laughs> He said, met two bitches like this. Nah, I'm going to marry this one. I'm going to just be fucking this one. Yeah. Marry, fuck, kill. <laughs> he got a body too? Yeah. <laughs> we ain't even know. Right, okay. <laughs> we ain't even know. Oh, uh, shit. Stay away from him. Nigga, good at what he do. <laughs> stay away from him. But yeah, um. Look, I forgot. I f- dude got a body. Guy. <laughs> I forgot <laughs> we were talking about <laughs> Shit. But yeah, now nah, um, I would just go if it was me for real. You can't do that. Yeah, you no, know, you can. Nah, then you fucking up. And it's a party their relationship. for real. Like if that's not what's supposed to be happening, if so, you Why just would... you just go, and then the person who invited your other half says, "Well, no, nah, no, nah. like I appreciate you showing up. You can say like happy birthday or whatever, but we only got space for." The person we invited. And I can't stay here? No, nah, you know how when you go to skating ring, they got, you pay for six people, not seven. Yeah. Um, I, I motherfucker, if I get there and mother tell me leave, I guess I'm going to leave because I ain't going to slap shit out of motherfuckers <laughs> that function, goddamn. Sound like you're not. Like, yeah, now nah, your husband can't, you, like, matter of fact, you don't work at no more. <laughs> your husband just slapped the CEO, goddamn. Right. <laughs> Slap the shit out of him too. Okay. <laughs> Why? What? Happened? He told him he couldn't come Man, in okay. the rope. We didn't open the rope. Bitch, what the fuck you mean? <laughs> My old lady, I'm coming in here, bitch. Why so many niggas in there? <laughs> you say you work with so many niggas? Right. Where all the other women at? I, I thought it was a bunch of bitches. <laughs> yeah, no. But no, yeah, if I can, mother tell me to leave, I'm leave. And I'm going to expect my bitch to be like, well, if he can't stay, then I'm going to have to go too, God damn it. I'm not going to say and that she, to she him. She does it. She, she says, nah, I, you know I was coming to this party. It's my friend party. I can't do it. I don't know why you right. can't. That's, you right. I'm going to fuck with y'all later. Yeah, I'm going to fuck with y'all later. <laughs> yeah. All right. This you know shit, what that means. Yeah, that means this bitch shit going to be on the porch when she get back from where her friend. <laughs> I tell your little friends to pick up the minivan when they come bring you home. Because y'all gonna need some room. Man. <laughs> yeah. Um, also, the way she typed, it sounds like this might be a foreigner. Okay. Somewhere. Right. Maybe English isn't the first language. And if that's the case, and English is dude's first language, he really getting over on her. And yeah. I feel kind of bad. Cause, Probably. Yeah. And if that's the case, she might need to stay with him. Like, no, it was ten years. She already in, she here legally. Why man, she can't okay. talk right? <laughs> no, she just can't, can't type right. right. Okay. Yeah, no, you you can't do nothing about it. You can talk to them all you want. Yeah, no, they, all you they, can do is ask if you can join. 
It ain't gonna change because they've been friends. Like, and if you don't like it, you better unfiance him. That's what you gonna have to do for real. You gonna have to be comfortable with your man having a female best friend for the rest of your life, probably. Yeah, just doing shit without you. One that intimidates you. Did she probably bad. Yeah, <laughs> fine as hell. <laughs> Choose the fuck, Man, not okay. the marry. So you got to, I mean, <laughs> yeah. Got, marry, fuck, kill. <laughs> but yeah, I couldn't, like, my old lady could have, especially if she knew the motherfucker long as she knew me. But I feel like, yeah, it'll be weird. Like, especially if I can't go somewhere I want to go with y'all, yeah, that's going to be. And it's all dudes there with that, her? Yeah, see, now, nah, hell no. Nah. <laughs> hell no, <nah>, bitch. <coughs> no, nah, see, I can't just say, bitch, you can't go. <laughs> But why is you in this? <laughs> explain to me what kind of setting it would be that you in with a whole bunch of niggas and you the only bitch here. There's only one setting I could even imagine for the go all right. Uh, Twenty v one. Okay. <coughs> no, I don't think so. Uh, a porn category. That's what it sound like. That's what it sound like. Ding 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 ding. <laughs> Man. Man. No, nah, if <coughs> if my old lady could go somewhere, I'm feeling like I could go, goddamn. We we a package, goddamn. Whoever don't like this shit, like that's on them. Mm. I feel like everything's circumstantial. That, that too. In, in that general, too. I don't think that if you're not invited, you should be showing up somewhere. I don't care nothing about this shit. Yeah, that's what imitation. Im- Invitations? Invitations were invented for. You're right, it was. But a nigga like me was invented to not give a fuck about nothing of that shit. But then you gonna give a fuck because that shit gonna be on the porch. So you gave a fuck. No, nah, yeah, yeah. no. Nah, I ain't yeah, give a fuck. Yeah. Nah, yeah, no. Nah. Yeah, yeah. Nah, what happened was I found out what kind of bitch I had. It wasn't, it wasn't this situation's fault that this happened. It was a flaw in your character that I didn't know was there that I just discovered. Mm-hmm. So yeah, it ain't. I'm mm-hmm. I'm grateful for this situation. And this is it that you can't be, you can't come somewhere you weren't invited. And this is a flaw in her character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you was supposed to you go with crazy. me. Crazy. If I get kicked out this bitch, you kicked out this bitch. You didn't. I we was came invited. together, didn't we? We came together. No. Yeah. No. We was in the same car. One invitation. In the in one car. One, one invitation. invitation per car. <laughs> you know, this is the invitation uh, for the red Buick. <laughs> No, it's four of us. It's where four. We, right. Where we drive in at? We... <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fuck that. Ooh. Yeah, but that's the other thing, too, is the person that is giving out the invitations obviously don't have respect for... None of them do. The best yeah. friend or the person who invited everybody to the party... They no, the, 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 the best friend is the best friend, the one that invited everybody. Okay, that's the same person. Yeah, it's okay, her party. yeah, yeah. They don't respect you at all. God yeah. damn it. So that's the other thing too in that whole circumstantial part of because even though you got to talk about what you and your partner would do or how you handle that situation, if the person that was inviting one of y'all had respect, they say they, they or know to like send you hey, an invitation for yeah, real for both of y'all. Yeah, and since they didn't, then you know it's up. For real, for real. Because you've known her for 10 years. Yeah. So you can go in there swinging. You can fuck her up. You or you could join the threesome if they want to do that. for 10 years and she still ain't like Yeah. Bitch, y'all supposed to, <laughs> y'all supposed to be friends too in this motherfucker. Yeah, that was no, it. You better no, go join. No, ain't got to be friends. But still, y'all got to fucking know each other at least for real. Best friend. I feel like best friend be around a motherfucker a lot, God damn it. Hey, your bitch ain't never around when, when she now. She ain't invited. No. She can't come. Mm-mm. Fuck that. Pull up on their ass. Yeah, nah, that yeah. ain't a situation I can find myself. Yeah, you gotta get out of that. Cause, yeah. Cause you're gonna yeah. either have to fight the best friend or you're gonna have to join her and your fiance in a threesome. Get up out of there. And I don't think you wanna do either one. It of don't them. sound like no. Get so up you're gonna out have there. to just leave. Get up out of there. It's over with. I'm um, fiance. You hey, you almost made a mistake. Yeah. It was close. Yeah. It's been ten years now. I'm just yeah. saying. Yeah. Ain't shit cool. changed in 10 years. They it's, still I, on that bullshit. I wasted 10 years of my life, too. Don't Man, worry. All right. It happens sometimes. You be like, damn, It happens sometimes. It could have been worse. You could have went to jail for prison for 10 years. Yeah, that's wasting you. That's, well, no, nah, I don't know. Some niggas come out of prison for some more sometimes. No, nah, you still wasting a whole bunch of time. You can be out here with uh, plastic semen. 
That's fucked up. Yeah. I don't know nothing about that. That's what the internet said. I don't you can't make no more babies. They're going to be plastic babies. They're going to be fucked up, too. Anyway. That's, that's why that little boy think he's um, making years old. Um, <laughs> that's is. exactly what it's the, the fuck plastic. going on. It's the plastic. That little boy got plastic all in their brain. Mm-hmm. Like a turtle. Got <laughs> Wait, what turtle? Like you know the turtle? No, the turtles, the sea turtles be in oh, the straws and shit. Oh, be dying shit. from the, oh, okay, yeah. Oh, that was dark. Well, hey, I don't know. It was, <laughs> it was put together. See, you fucked it up. It was uh-huh. funny till you hey. made it. Hey. No, I like it. I like it. The dark here with us. You do too, Dodge. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, lady. I'm fiance him. I ain't a man. Kato. For real. That's you the best any, advice. Any words that you want to leave the people with? Um, let me see. You got anything you need to get off your chest? Let me see what I need to tell the people before I we get think up I do. out this bitch. Um, America is a scam. Hey, Amen. Free everybody who in jail on some bullshit. Amen. We decide what the bullshit is. Um, yeah, I think that's all I got to say to the people. Look, we appreciate y'all fucking with us yeah, on yeah. another motherfucking edition oh, some, of the Smoking for Minute podcast. Bitch. You know what I'm talking about? That is your boy, Kato Jackson. That is your boy, Bob Jacquez. We is the smokers, and we is at this bitch. You know what I'm talking about? Smoke some beer.